My name is Ann Lowry, um, as I mentioned earlier, and my concern is has to do with the uh, health survey that um, was mentioned by Anthony Dennis. Um, he states that um, they have not uh, decided how they're going to uh, perform this survey, yet he knows that we're not going to be um, showing that the survey will not show that we have any incidence of increased cancer risk. I don't know how he's come to that conclusion, but he has. Um, secondly, is um, no other diseases are going to be uh, surveyed for. Paul Massey, who has passed away, won um, a large lawsuit because of his um, MS that he contracted due to uh, exposure to creosote at his place of business. My MS is not going to be ca um, counted. Uh, the survey that, the, um, that he's spoken about is only going to uh, count the people that are currently living in the uh, Stephen Foster neighborhood. I'm a refugee from there. I lived there for 16 years. And um, after my two sur surgeries for cancer will not be counted. Neither will the 30, 40,000 people that have died over the f past 50 years from cancer be counted in this survey. Only the people that are living there now, and as you've heard, the houses are primarily empty, or the new residents that bought houses uh, unknowingly that these are um, contaminated. Um, Dr. Stephen Roberts' group at the US, UF Center for Environmental and Human Toxicology sent memos and documents to the FDEP that clearly paint a different picture about the real cancer risk in the area. Dr. Roberts' group concluded that the real excess cancer risk is this. The northern area has 3,610 times the cancer risk allowed by the state according to the UF data. The group also recommends that the FDEP should not accept any of the human health risk assessments submitted thus far by the AM, 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 AMEC, AMEC. Moreover, the Center for Environmental and Human Toxicology memos and reports must be utilized by both the state and federal regulators in assist, assess, assessing risk, both to nearby residents and for potential users of the site. None of this information was ever disclosed to, this, to the public, despite decades of go ongoing testimonials of cancers, illnesses, and deaths by residents and, uh, and their pets. It's never been, never been um, disclosed to the public. 3,610 times the cancer risk allowed by the state. And that's from the UF Center for Environmental and Human Toxicology. The FDEP were told about it, but they ignored it. We haven't heard about it. Y'all haven't heard about it. My cancer doesn't count. My MS doesn't count. Paul Massey's dead. He, he got some money out of it. He's dead. Anyway, thank you all for... for thank you, Ms. Lowry.